Hey everyone, myself Diksha from Biotechnica and today we're going to talk about one important topic and that is how to get a stable job in the field of biotechnology in India as well as abroad. So if you are a biotechnology fresher, if you are a graduate in the field of biotechnology and you are seeking for job opportunities, most preferably stable job opportunities in the field of biotechnology, this video is going to help you for sure. So I have been enlisting 10 pointers, the strategies what you can do for your chances of getting a stable job in the field of biotech sector in India and abroad so uh, have a look upon all these things and just make sure that you follow each one of them. So the first is get a degree in a relevant field. That means that you should have a proper degree, a proper qualification for getting a stable job because your educational qualification will always take you to the great heights. And for that, you should have a bachelor's and preferably a master's degree because you should have a strong education foundation. So you can have a bachelor's degree and preferably a master's degree because you have to search for a stable job in the field of biotech sector, in the field of research. So you can have a bachelor's bachelor's degree or master's degree or if you are having a master's degree you can have a PhD degree so it's better that you have a PhD degree because it's always bet good to have a research experience it's always better so you can have a PhD degree too and now the second point that is important for you is to gain experience through internships and co-programs. So the first point that as I mentioned, strong educational foundation is important, but according to uh, like the uh, people who have got a stable job, they say that skill enhancement is also important along with the educational qualification that you have. So you should gain experience through internships and co-programs. Co um, like you should develop your skills based on the pharma companies and inter internships that are present in the pharma companies. You can go to the website and check about each one of them. Or you can any we go to government institutions if you have anyone known there you can apply your mail to a professor or a scientist and you can ask them for any availability of any vacant position or for interns in their lab and you can go and you know learn a lot of skills so developing your skills is again the second most point that is really important so you should gain experience through doing internships or programs the third point is network with your professionals in the field now again networking is very important always i mentioned that networking is something that keeps you to the great height because you are always exposed to the best uh, among the professionals who are working in the relevant field so you should always network with those professionals you will get insights about the work environment about the job qualifications and about the career prospects so you should always network with the professionals in the field you can always go and interact with the professors scientists colleagues and seniors that are working in the relevant field you should attend industrial events where you are getting exposure to interact with the professionals over there you should attend workshops and conferences where you will be interacting with a lot of scientists faculty professors officers scientific officers where you will be able to get a guideline with from um, interaction and a guideline from them regarding the opportunities that are uh, <clears throat> available in the field of uh, biotechnology. You can participate in seminars also where you will be expressing your knowledge, your intellect about biotechnology and they might get impressed too. You should also go to social sites such as LinkedIn or Facebook where you can personally request them or you can ask them for any uh, like uh, positions but again in a very professional manner in a formal way you should ask so don't try to irritate them always go through a uh, like formal channel or you can ask them for an email id so that you can divert them through an email id where you can ask them about the opportunities they might have and if they can take you or not the next uh, point that i'm going to mention is the fourth one Stay up to date with the latest developments in the field. So ultimately what is required is your enthusiasm and passion about science. So you should always stay up to date with the latest development in the field and that means that you should always read scientific news, news is that like the news that is <clears throat> Or like uh, related to the scientific phenomenon or the recent advancement in science you should reach uh, you should always read research papers research papers are the best way of developing your scientific skills because they will develop your analytical capability also your uh, like uh, mental ability to to think about uh, the uh, scientific phenomenon, about science, your inquisitiveness will also get increased. We should read the research papers and you can also join communities, places where you can come and sit and interact related to the up-to-date uh, news of the science and development. You can also interact through the uh, like telegram or some channels where you can have a group where you can always discuss about the recent development and you can get an up-to-date uh, uh, no notification about the development in the field of science and technology. So you should do that. And then 
next point that is important is consider working for a small biotech company so let's say you are having a uh, you you are having your degree done but you don't have any experience that's what you are it's it's very difficult for you to get a job because mostly they will ask us for experiences so if you go for any uh, like large pharma company or an mnc it would be mostly difficult for you because maybe the fair pay will be higher but the competition too will be tough and uh, in the first way if you want to get into that it's a bit difficult so you should always prefer going for a small biotech company where you're going to uh, learn and also the privilege of getting into small biotech company is that you will be learning a lot and there would be a lot of focus upon you so even if you commit mistakes there would be people who will be training you and guiding you and you won't be fresh eyes in that sort so you should always consider working for a small biotech company if you are a fresher or if you want any entry level entry level employment vacancies and then you can go for like then you can gain experience and go for for any job that is suitable for you the next point that is important is build a strong uh, resume and cover letter now how impactful your resume or a cover letter is it's also important for you to make it and design it in a such a way that they always take you as you are the most uh, like uh, among the uh, like the applicants you are the preferred one you should be the preferred one so for that you should always highlight your educational background that is from where you have done your bachelor's your master's and you should highlight in such a way that you are adding the experience even the extra curricular activity that is related to the scientific field such as attending the post uh, like post competition seminars workshops you should always mention those things the dissertation the thesis that you have done in your bachelor's and masters then you should highlight the skills and accomplishment like what all you wore what all the uh, like uh, competitive exams you cracked what are internships you did what all techniques you know about the relevant field and then you should always mention in brief you should not go for a five page six page long cv nobody is going to see it anyway so you should build a strong resume and a cover letter and it should be very cons like it should be concise and precise it should only uh, like talk about the accomplishment and your skills and not about the irrelevant things so it's important for you to make a concise cv the next point that is important for you is to tailor your job search to the specific biotech sector that you are interested in that typically means that if you want to go for a particular sector accordingly you can manage your time you can manage your effort you can manage the preferences and you can uh, come up with an idea a strategy to work in the same direction let's say if you want to work in a pharmaceutical company you are going to do workshops or conferences related to pharmaceutical sciences like you have to do uh, like uh, drug discovery or the downstream processing or purity of the uh, drug like these things you can do and always you can go for the techniques that are related to it so you, it's your preference you want to go for pharmaceutical sciences you want to go for microbial sciences or quality assurance you want to go for medical sciences like oncology neurosciences you want to go for agriculture sciences or you want to contribute to the food technology so it it, it again depends on you so you should always come up with an strategy so that your your um, job preferences should be always clear so that if you are making a strategy you are getting into a right direction rather than sitting and then waiting for the time where you will be uh, thinking about the career opportunity in the relevant field and then uh, at the last you will be messed up because you're not having a right path so it's very important for you to choose a right path at once and start working upon that particular path the next point that is important is research the company before applying it's very important guys because when we want to apply for the company we uh, feel really enthusiastic we get selected and then it's very important for us to research about the company so you should research about the values goals and the achievements of the company or you can go for any linkedin search where you are going to uh, search for the employees that are working in the company what are departments are there in the company what are accomplishment they have and what is the quality level of the employees that are working in the company so you can go and research for the company and you can even try to the few of the employees that are in the company but again in a formal way that you are asking because you are inquisitive to know about the company since you are going to join that company so it's very important for you to know about the company before applying or even before even if you are given an interview also you have been selected also always have good research and then go for the company the next point is prepare for the job interview now let's say if you have applied and you want to like you have got an opportunity to get into the job interview the few points that you have to always keep in your mind is to always be confident you have have to be confident even if you don't know 100% of the things which you might know nobody knows you have to be confident about at least 40 50% of what you have done because the sets that you have been confident in is the only that you will uh, be in like uh, showing it to the interviewer and that might get uh, 
like that, that might make uh, your interviewer get impressed by you and you might get selected so they don't see that how much you don't know they only see that how much inquisitive you are about that subject how much hard working you are and how much uh, like troubleshooting or mental uh, like uh, constraint you can bear if any uh, like uh, conditions such as any mishappening happens or any condition like you you have been dealing with negative results so how you will deal with that so they will basically search for those uh, like uh, nature in you those qualities in you such as being inquisitive being passionate being hard working and those things you have to keep in your mind so you should always <coughs> research about the company again because to prepare for the job interview also you should know about the company that what company you are applying for because the company uh, they will ask their questions also relevant to the company such as the uh, like uh, the core ethics values and of the company and the companies from uh, like the affiliation of the company how it is related if so let's say if it's a, a cancer based company they will ask you questions might uh, they ask the questions related to cancer biology so you should know about the you should know the research about the company what all researches are being happening happening in the in the company what all the uh, like r and d positions are there what is the most uh, like uh profound research that has happened in the company what they are working in what is their market statistics so you should know about the company also and then you should practice common interview questions so practicing common interview questions means why you want to join that company why you and in the common interview questions you should always keep in your mind not because you have to just mug it and then you have to tell it to them no because you have to come with a better answer so that they will select you because you have to be perfect in your own so it's important to you for you to always practice before getting into any interview any job interview and the last point that is really important is consider getting additional certificates or training now let's say you have a degree you have skills accomplishment but you should be good in extracurricular activities also you should good you should be good in the curriculum as a whole and not in the study part only so you can consider getting additional certificate as well as training where you are going for short term or long term training where getting certificate uh, such as edx or you can go and even mit provides online certificate you go for you can go and search stanford apply you can uh, like uh, provide online certificates so you can see for those online certificates where you can get like uh, get a course done and then you will be getting a certificate based on that so consider getting an additional certificate on training but this is very important especially you want to go for abroad you should have international um, institutional certificates it's very important they will have a preference because even you know they will see that you have always matched with the study standard of the like the institution of the mit or stanford it means that you are worth it to join the position or you are worth it to be selected for so you should know about the lab techniques you can either for like um, you should know about the lab techniques or you can get a certificate or a training based on the lab techniques what you want to do hands on training is really important guys and then you should have a training or additional certificate related to regulatory affairs and also of scientific writing also because you are going to be a researcher you are going to be getting a stable job in biotech since it's a scientific field you should have a good command over scientific writing also so these traits will help you in getting a stable job these are the qualities that are important for a person who wants to complete um, they like who wants to complete their degree early and they want to go for any stable job in india and abroad so these were the highlight points that i'm mentioning here i hope you can see guys one second yeah so these are the 10 points that you should always follow so as to get a stable job in the field of biotechnology in india and abroad you have any doubt anything we are always there to help you from biotechnica you can mention in the comment box below and we'll come up with an answer so thank you so much for watching this video